We used to think we were alone in this universe, but now space is calling out to us. Strange signals, unexplained rhythms. NASA lost contact with its Voyager 2 probe last month, but a heartbeat signal from the craft has been picked up during a regular scan of the sky overnight. Bursts of energy that follow a pattern. These aren't random. They're signs. Something is out there, and it's been trying to make contact for a very, very long time. Far beyond the reach of our sun's warmth and past the planets we've explored and mapped lies a vast, silent stretch of space, cold, distant, and largely unknown. There are stars that are literally the size of solar systems. The thing, so the, the more massive the star is, a star, let's say, 10,000 times the mass of the sun. Only a few man-made creations have ever reached this far, and one of them has been quietly traveling there for over 40 years, Voyager 2. Back in 1977, Voyager 2 launched with a daring mission. Three, two, one, we have ignition and we have liftoff. To visit the giant planets on the edge of our solar system, then keep going into the great beyond. It showed us close-ups of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, revealing storms, rings, and moons we never knew existed. Voyager 2 was the one that was chosen to do the grand tour, that is to fly by Jupiter, and then Saturn, and then Uranus, and then Neptune. And then after 1989, we began what is now called the Voyager Interstellar Mission. We were on a path we hoped to get to reach interstellar space while we still had power on the spacecraft to transmit the data back. Eventually, it pushed past the boundary where our sun's influence ends. Out there in interstellar space, it kept going. And somehow, it kept talking to us, sending back readings from more than 12 billion miles away. Then came the glitch. In mid-2023, contact was lost. A small misalignment in the antenna, just a couple of degrees, cut Voyager off from Earth. The team sent a powerful signal to correct it, and after nearly two full days of waiting, the spacecraft responded. Everything was working. Crisis averted. But that wasn't the real mystery. Months earlier, engineers had noticed something odd. Voyager began routing its data through an old backup computer, one that hadn't been active in decades. No commands had triggered the change, and yet the signal was as strong as ever. When they looked deeper, they found something buried in the transmission, organized sequences that didn't seem random. Then came a steady pulse, low and rhythmic, repeating every 7.44 seconds. No one could explain it. They called it the heartbeat. Okay, NASA's spacecraft that's been exploring the universe for nearly five decades is back on the space agency's radar. NASA lost contact with its Voyager 2 probe last month, but a heartbeat signal from the craft has been picked up during a regular scan of the sky overnight. Advanced analysis revealed geometric patterns within the signal, shapes like hexagons and spirals, woven together in a way that echoed familiar mathematical constants, prime numbers, pi, the golden ratio. It didn't feel like noise. It felt intentional. Researchers described it as receiving a handshake from the stars, like something out there was using math as a universal language. Could Voyager 2 have crossed paths with something intelligent? Or had it stumbled into a strange region of space behaving in ways we don't yet understand? It only lasted 72 seconds, but we've spent nearly 50 years trying to explain it. On August 15, 1977, the Big Ear Radio Telescope in Ohio, which was set up to look for signs of life beyond Earth, picked up something totally unexpected. It caught a super strong signal from way out in space, cutting through all the noise like a knife. Astronomer Jerry R. Amon circled the reading in red ink and jotted down one word next to it. Wow! Take a look at this. This is the actual, a copy of the actual notes that this astronomer made back then. You can see he circled the moment that the sound happened, even wrote the words, wow. The sequence 6EQUJ5 wasn't just some random message. It was all about the intensity. The signal they received shot up, hit its peak, and then faded away perfectly synced with the telescope's movement. It felt way too clean, way too specific, and way too deliberate. 
It came from a spot with no known stars or satellites nearby. There were no fluctuations in the signal, it was smooth, almost like someone was broadcasting it consistently. At that time, no one could understand what it was. All they knew, it was a faint signal coming from way out in space, and then it went quiet. Years later, researchers returned to the same area, now called the WOW Field. They searched and waited, but nothing came through again. CD later declared it the strongest candidate for a signal from extraterrestrial life, but some think the lack of a repeat means it wasn't meant to be a one-off. It might have been a test, a sign, or possibly even a warning. Just one mysterious signal, with no source and no explanation, and still no answers. But what if the WOW signal wasn't the only one? 26 years later, in March 2003, another anomaly surfaced, quieter, subtler, and even more elusive. It was a signal that was picked up not once, but three times. It got named SHGB02 plus 14 at this time. It was caught by SETI at home, a global project where folks use their personal computers to help analyze radio signals coming from space. Basically, back then, regular people were chipping in to help scientists look for signals from aliens. This signal was interesting because it didn't come from any known star system, and it was hanging around the 1420 megahertz mark, the hydrogen line. That frequency is linked to the natural emissions from hydrogen atoms, which is, by the way, the most common element in the universe. Scientists think it's the go-to frequency for any extraterrestrial life trying to reach out across space. But unlike the wow signal, this one wasn't loud. It was more of a whisper. It repeated briefly and then just disappeared. What troubled researchers even more was its strange position, right between the constellations Pegasus and Pisces, because that part of the sky is totally empty, with no stars, no planets, just a whole lot of nothing. Could it be a message, signaling someone was out there but not where they came from? Or could it be just another call we can't explain? Two signals spaced out by decades. One was super loud, while the other was barely a whisper. And honestly, both are still a mystery. But then came the ones we weren't even prepared to catch. Fast radio bursts. The first of its kind, known as the Lorimer Burst, was discovered by chance back in 2007 when researchers were sifting through some old radio astronomy data. This burst actually happened six years earlier on July 24, 2001. It only lasted about five milliseconds, but in that tiny blink of time, it released more energy than the sun does in three days. There wasn't anything like a star, black hole, or any cosmic event that could explain how powerful it was. Astronomers detect a mysterious blast of radio waves that took eight billion years to reach the Earth. This intense burst of radio waves lasted less than a millisecond. Yet, scientists believe it gives valuable information. They believe this is one of the most distant and energetic signals ever observed. Despite being so short, it released as much energy as the sun releases over a course of 30 years. Since their discovery, only a handful have been recorded, and for a long time, they seemed completely random, no clear pattern. That changed recently. A team from the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment and the Fast Radio Burst Project observed something unusual. Between September 16, 2018 and October 30, 2019, they noticed that one FRB followed a distinct cycle. It repeated every 16.35 days. For four days, bursts would come in like clockwork, then nothing for the next 12 days. This pattern kept repeating. In total, they recorded 28 cycles of this strange wake and sleep rhythm. Even more intriguing, the signals are coming from a spiral galaxy about 500 million light years away. Until now, scientists believed FRBs came from explosive events like colliding stars, but this repeating behavior doesn't fit that theory, and it has researchers rethinking what FRBs actually are and where they might be coming from. 
In June 2015, the Russian Rutan 600 radio telescope picked up a strong focused signal from a star system called HD 164595, which is about 94 light years away. It was a clear spike in radio intensity around 11 gigahertz. There were no flares, no debris, and nothing natural that could explain it. The star is nearly identical to our sun. It even hosts at least one known planet. For a brief moment, astronomers considered the unthinkable. Was this a beacon? SETI never confirmed it, but they never fully ruled it out either. Some signals simply defy closure. That's all for today. Subscribe for more deep space mysteries, turn on notifications so you never miss what they don't want you to see, because the next signal might already be on its way.